Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a nice quarterly summary report inside a pivot table by grouping the data. Here's the data set that we're working with. We have four territories, north, south, east, and west. We have 12 months of sales for each territory for a one-year period. Now, in another lesson, I showed you how easy it was to create reports that summarize by year, quarter, and month when we have a series of actual dates. Here we have labels for the month, so it's a little bit different. We've already begun our pivot table, and as you notice, we did not have a quarterly field in our original data set. We created the first quarter and the second quarter by grouping the information. I'll show you how by creating the third and fourth quarter groupings. Let's select the three months for the third quarter, July, August, September. On the pivot table drop-down menu, we're going to say group and show detail, group. And it gives us the generic uh, grouping, group three. Let's change the label to third quarter. And we'll follow the same procedure to group the fourth quarter. The months are October, November, December. On the pivot table drop down, we go group and show detail, group. And let's change the generic name to fourth quarter. So you'll notice that in the pivot table field list that we now have a new grouped field which we can rename. Instead of calling it month two, let's choose to change the name to quarter. Really very simple. Now let's get rid of the field list. It's very simple if we want to have a simple quarterly report, an executive summary if you will. Let's select on the quarter header and come over here and say hide the detail. So now we see just the sales by each quarter. If we want to reveal a quarter at a time, we just double click and there it is, double click to hide. And of course coming back here to the quarter header, we can say show the detail. Let's bring the field list back once more. If I wanted to drag off the months, now that I've grouped it, we have that new grouped field. So the quarterly report just stays there. It's a really easy way to create a nice quarterly report where we did not have a field by using pivot tables and the grouping feature. I'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.